All right, my little Bundy buddies, we were working on a 2001 Acura MDX, but this will cover uh, Acura MDX from 2001 to 2006, the Honda Odyssey from 2002 to 2004, and the Honda Pilot to 2003 to 2008. I'm using some uh, Bosch Quiet Cast brake pads. I'll put a link in the description below where you guys can buy them on Amazon. These are some of the best brake pads that I've found out there. They came in a relatively quick fashion. Let's see, part number is BC793. Great little pads. Love how they come wrapped. Very nice. All the hardware you need. And also comes with the grease that you need. So let's get started. First thing to do, loosen up these uh, loosen up these lug nuts. And I just noticed it has a security lug on it. Security or a lug right here, so you need a key. And hopefully I have the key. Haha. <laughs> Okay, here's the key. I found it. Woo wee! All right, cool. Now I'll get my gun. Hopefully it's a 19 millimeter. It's either 19 or 21, and it's a 19. Get the lug nuts loose before you take the wheel all the way off. Got the rotor here. Got the caliper. Got the brake caliper bracket right here. What we're going to do, we're not changing out the rotors on this. No, I should have them turned. I'll put a link in the description below where I go over the application and theory of resurfacing rotors. But this is what, this is what you call a, a pad slap in the industry when you just change out the brake pads. So, you have these two screws, or not two screws, you have these two bolts right here. These should be 14 millimeter. One up here, one down there. And actually just swap the pads out. All you got to do is take this lower one off. Loosen this one up. This whole section flips up. You can swap out the pads, put everything back down, and you're good to go. And you actually have to you have to uh, compress the caliper back down. So I'm going to take off both of these because I want to lube the brake caliper pin, which is right here, and push the uh, piston back, and we'll go from there. So righty tighty lefty loosey, going down. Oh man, these weren't even tight. Should be a little bit tighter than that. <clears throat> brake caliper bracket is off. Or brake caliper, I should say, is off. So just two 14 millimeter bolts. This is the brake caliper. This is the piston we need to push back. And the best way to do this is to get an old, uh, we could take the uh, old uh, brake pad put it in here and they get a C-clamp, butt it up against here, and just slowly push the uh, piston back in. And you're gonna wanna check your level in your reservoir, your brake fluid reservoir, and then you're gonna wanna push the uh, brake pedal in 10 times before you drive, drive anywhere, because uh, you need that piston right here to come back out. That way, so it's pushing onto the pistons before you start driving, or you're gonna go down the road and you're not gonna have any brakes. So, keep that in mind. Pop these pads off. Reason I'm changing these pads is they're pretty cheap pads. And uh want to get some better stopping power. There's nothing wrong with the width, the thickness of it. There's a lot of meat left. I just don't like them. They just don't break well enough for my liking. And uh so you see these two screws right here? I'm gonna go over how you need to get this rotor off if you wanted to change out the rotor as well. You need to take off the uh, brake caliper bracket. The brake caliper bracket is held on by two 17 millimeter bolts on the back on the other side. So you gotta take those off, you pop this off. Sometimes this little tiny screw right here is stuck in there real good and tight. And uh, I'll put a link in the description below where I show you how to get this loose. Um, but it's a, it's a set, it's a Phillips, uh, Number two screwdriver that I use, it has a uh, full steel core, and you just put that on there, and then as you uh, as you as you have that screwdriver in there, you start hitting it with a hammer on the steel core end, and righty tighty left loose, you just start slowly turning it and get it off, and then this rotor pops off. Sometimes you have to drill these out; they're so stuck on there. But this vehicle has been in Southern California its whole life, so it probably wouldn't be that hard to do. 
But like I said, I'll put a link in the description below. And then you just take the rotor off, have it resurfaced, or put a new rotor on, just depending on what you want to do. So, let me pull this other brake pad off. So it came with new hardware. I'm gonna pop the old hardware off. Don't, do not, do not run the brake pads without this hardware because you have these little notches in here that the brake caliper actually slide, or the brake pad actually slides on and you'd have to have that on there. You use the uh, grease that came with the brake pads and you do a light coating on that little slide area so that the brake pads have something to slide on. So the new brake pads came with all the hardware for both sides. Four per side. Okay, just putting the new hardware on. Okay, there's one. The round one. See how it's kind of rounded right here? The round one goes on the top. And the round part goes towards the back, facing towards the rear of the vehicle. If your uh, kit does not come with new hardware, you can always use the old hardware. Just clean it up and apply, uh, apply the grease that came with the kit. If it didn't come with grease, you can always use uh, Silaglide. I love uh, Silaglide grease. Put a link in the description below to it. Oh, come on. Why is it not going? Checking it with the old one, make sure it's the same thing. Yeah, it's not. A little bit different design. So, let's try and get the old one back in. Yeah, so the old one goes right back in, right? So. I'm gonna clean this up, use the old use the old hardware. I'll use the new hardware on the bottom. But the most important part is to get where the brake pad slides on there. Just put the new brake pads on, uh, grease it up. You're gonna grease these pins up. Let me see if I can get one out here. Oh man, that's really stuck in there. So it's probably been on here a long, long time. <laughs> but the reason you wanna grease the slide pins up is that uh, sometimes you'll see where in a when a brake pad, when one brake pad wears unevenly compared to the other one, and the main culprit is uh, nobody, nobody took the time to pull these pins out and grease them. Come on. Okay, there you go. There's a pin. So we'll get some brake cleaner, clean this up, and uh, add new grease to it. The new Bosch grease that came with it, or Silaglide, link in the description. You put that in. Make sure this rubber boot goes with it. And then you uh, grease the uh, the hardware right here where the brake pads slide, and you're good to go. Tighten up the lug nuts to 80 foot-pounds. Make sure you break, check your brake reservoir, and then um, also push the brake pedal in 10 times. So I hope this helped you out, guys. Sorry, it's not a detailed detailed step-by-step. -step. It's just getting dark. I'm going to run out of sunlight here. Um, hope everybody's staying safe, and hopefully this coronavirus is over. And um, I'll see you guys later.